Hello everybody. We are going to look at 12-4 day two, where we actually take the information that we've learned and write a repeating decimal as a fraction. So this has applications to write a repeating decimal in fraction form. If you recall, our formula that we have from day one is going to be this. If we only can use this if the absolute value of R is less than one. So we're going to put this in practice by looking at this point 1818181818. This is going to be the same thing as saying 18 over 100. That takes care of this part of it. And then we're going to have, going to have 18 over 10,000. It takes care of that part. And we're going to have 18 over, looks like a million. And that takes care of that part. And we could keep going. We would put another one A and you can see that what we're doing is we're adding two zeros every time. And this goes on forever. How do we write this as a fraction? Well, we know that the first term is 18 over 100. And we know that the common ratio is 1 over 100. Two zeros each time. We're multiplying that. In order to find out what that would be in a fraction form, we're plugging this in. 18 over 100 is A1 divided by 1 minus 1 over 100. You can hear my dog walking. She needs her nails cut. Now she's drinking. 18 over 100. Maisie! <laughs> Life goes on, doesn't it, guys? And the hundreds cancel. And we get 18 over 99. just would reduce, doesn't it? Nine goes into everything, two elevenths. 18 over 99 or two elevenths. So this one, the next one, 0.777, we can write that as seven tenths plus seven hundredths plus seven thousandths and it goes on forever. First term is 7 tenths. The ratio is 1 over 10. We're multiplying by a tenth each time. Plugging into our formula, we're going to have 7 tenths divided by 1 minus 1 tenth. It's going to be 7 tenths over 9 tenths, which is 7 ninths. Now, if you push that in your calculator, you're going to see that that's a 0.7 and it repeats. All right, a couple more. Okay, 0.515151. We can rewrite this as, point, as 51 over 100 plus 51, two more zeros. I only added one. No wonder. Sorry, guys. I was confused myself for a few seconds, but I found myself. R is 100, 1 over 100. And A1 is 51 over 100. When we go to find, substitute into that formula, we have 51 over 100. Divided by 1 minus 1 over 100. So it's going to be 51 over 100 divided by 99 over 100. Now, I didn't say this before, but the hundreds cancel. 
we have a complex fraction. If we multiply it, I'm going to show it to you here. If we multiply the top and bottom by 100, basically 100 divided by 100 is 1. We're not changing it. We're changing the way it looks. The hundreds cancel. I apologize for not being more specific with that earlier. It's 51 over 99. And this is a point where I would tell you, go ahead and work these out on your own. If you want to shut it down and then try and figure this out and then check your answer, that'd be fabulous. This is going to be very similar to this one. It's going to be 16 over 100 plus 16 over 10,000 plus going on forever and ever. Our first term is 16 over 100 and our ratio is 1 over 100. Substituting in S is equal to 16 over 100 divided by 1 minus 1 over 100. 16 over 100 divided by 99 over 100. And the hundreds cancel, leaving us with 16 over 99. And that does not reduce. They don't have anything in common. So that's our answer here. That's our answer here. And this is going to end this chapter for us. This is the last lesson you'll have for this chapter. We'll have a quiz on this and I'll notify you as to when that is. I hope everybody's doing well. Miss you guys and take care of yourselves and your family.